Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 6th of November 2013. My name's Lumen and right now with BlizzCon just around the corner, it's time for some Blizzard news. In this episode, Blizzard have teased us with the names of the decks set to be used in the Hearthstone Innkeepers Invitational. There are a bunch of Reaper of Souls first look posts up, StarCraft 2's World Championship Series trading cards have been revealed, the name of the next World of Warcraft expansion may well have been discovered, the new Battle.net shop has entered beta and more, starting with Hearthstone. With only a couple of days left until BlizzCon 2013, Blizzard have started teasing us with more information regarding the Hearthstone Innkeepers Invitational Exhibition Tournament. This comes in the form of a blog post giving us the names of the decks we'll be seeing the invitees doing battle with over the weekend and mention of the shoutcasters selected to serenade our ears. While we only received the names of the decks and their classes, not the content just yet, it is already more than enough entertainment and some of them are just golden and heavily hint at what we'll be seeing inside. Amongst the 24 decks set up by the 8 players, there are 6 paladin decks, 5 mage, 4 priest, 3 shaman, 2 warrior, 2 druid, 1 hunter, 1 warlock and 0 rogue decks crazy stuff. It's also definitely worth mentioning that Husky is the one player that's actually controlling both the Hunter and the Warlock decks. Yes, he's the only one playing Hunter and Warlock. Some interesting names being used include Divine Fields, Hipster Mage for a Druid deck obviously, the Artosis Curse and Turn 8. To see the rest you'll just have to check the post out for yourself. By the time this video goes up, Blizzard may well also have detailed the decks fully, so give that a peek if you're interested too. Finally, it was mentioned in the very same blog post that Total Biscuit and Kevin Nock from Blizzard are doing the shoutcasting for the tournament. Again, read more below and enjoy, and with that done, let's move on to some Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls talk. A whole bunch of first look blog posts have gone up on the official Diablo 3 site, and they've given us a taste of what to expect from this already amazing looking expansion. Historical Westmarch, Westmarch level design, and most recently of the lot, Westmarch Bestiary. The lot of it was covered in great detail, there are lots of images, which is also a plus, and the posts are, in my honest opinion, well worth having a look at for any Diablo fans out there. My favorite of the lot, definitely the one covering all the nasties we'll be doing glorious battle with. Check them out. Next up in some StarCraft 2 news, StarCraft 2 World Championship Series eSports trading cards are set to debut at BlizzCon 2013. Attendees will be showered with these cards, free of charge, and those not able to make it to the show will be able to win them online through various competitions hosted by Blizzard. Trading card packs will also be distributed at a number of BlizzCon BarCraft events worldwide. Kinda cool. I mean, I probably won't be collecting them myself, but the idea is great. Read more below about the first series of cards, see which teams, players, or personalities will be featured, and prepare to start collecting. Moving on, the guys and girls at Blizzard have trademarked Warlords of Draenor. Or Warlords of Draenor. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, and registered the Warlords of Draenor domain in anticipation of, well, something. Most are thinking World of Warcraft expansion, and that does indeed make the most sense. While this could obviously be nothing, much like the whole Dark Below thing from a couple of weeks ago, I do think we will be seeing a new expansion shown off at BlizzCon, and I do think that I will like it if it ends up being this. The setting used for it could be a lot like the Burning Crusade, so come on. Who wouldn't want another expansion like the Burning Crusade? Read more below and let me know what you think. Is it a possibility? Is it something you'd like to see? If it is in fact gonna happen, what would you like to see in it? Let me know. Last up, Blizzard have launched the beta version of the Battle.net shop on Battle.net. The shop uses the same UI as the Battle.net launcher, so I kind of assume it'll be built into that at some point, and currently it features in-game or digital goodies exclusively. That is, however, all I have for you in this episode. If the news covered here and now wasn't enough, there are a whole bunch of both Blizzard-related and other extras linked below for your browsing pleasure. You should probably check them out too. Give this video a like, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly though, happy BlizzCon 2013. Happy that.